All right, up early. Get some coffee. We hit it. Okay, so we're headed up to uh, New River. It's Independence, Virginia, basically. Not the greatest stretch of the New River to do smallmouth fishing, but it's a convenient place for me. It's only about an hour and 15, 20 minutes from my house. There's a shuttle there, they'll take me up. I'm gonna go 10 miles today, so it's gonna be a long day on the water. It's gonna be a high of 60. So, you know, the fishing could be good all day long. You need to get up there and get after it because I've got a nine o'clock uh, shuttle that I got to catch. Hey. How are you? Are you going down the river? Hopefully, I'll make it down. <laughs> you gonna do five or ten? It's not the same price. It is, is it? the same price. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll just pay, and then when. Uh, Aaron said there's a guy here that talked to me about the fishing. Well, we'll just do the paperwork for the 10 mile, but obviously, you know, it's the same for 5,000. Right, 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 yeah. So if you can give me your name and your phone number here, mm -hmm. that'd be great. All right, you're all set. I'm gonna be down there in just a second to get you loaded up and get you off. It's been kind of slow because we've had a bunch of cold snaps. Yeah. On the warmer days, it's been pretty good. Yeah. But the water's finally now starting to warm up. See, when it, usually when I when I do it, on my personal time, I do from the bridge up there to right above Molly Shoals, and I usually get out. Yeah. But if I was you and I was fishing, I'd, I'd probably do it. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to grab it. All right, I guess 10 miles it is. So this is all private, right? Private land here. This is. It's the five mile mark. Is five mile mark. Yeah. Right. It's a beautiful day. Water is freezing. I need to stay dry. Need to pay attention when I get to these class two and class three rapids up here. I got dry clothes. It's actually, I think I've got some long johns, some dry long johns. I don't have any dry bottoms, but I have my, my frog togs I could put on. But I have these long johns under here. I'm gonna take these off in case, whatever. Some, some reason I go in the water, I'll have something dry to put on on the bottoms. Anyway, beautiful day, new river, uh, just uh, north of Sparta. Um, west of Independence, Virginia. Water's clear, water's leveled out, so I don't have to really worry about too much water flow and some of these rapids really being kicked up. Anyway, let's have at it. Nice one. Nice smallie. Nice one. Oh! That was a big one. Oh! That was big. I'm gonna try this thing out the first time. This is a lure retrieve. It goes down the line, it knocks the bait loose. And being I don't have a lot of square bills, and being I just lost a big on a square bill, um, I want it back. Big time. First time, tried it. And it worked. So there's, uh, there's $9. So I paid like $20 for this thing. And uh, so if I do that pretty much two, one, one or two more times, um, this thing will have paid for itself. So I got a class two coming up. I'm actually gonna go around it, but it's still a little bit uh, sketchy. And the wind is 
blowing me down the freaking river, man. I think I'm gonna want to fish this over here, over on this side. Ugh. two and a class three coming up. The wind's going to start dictating which way I'm facing. I want to go down class twos or threes. And this is a big old clumsy kayak. 14 feet. And the wind blowing me back. Man, this thing looks bony to me. This doesn't look like shit. So I need to get, I need to fish this and then bust ass over to the other side. I got a little wet. And uh, man, I'll tell you what, with this wind, it is cold when you get wet. So man, it feels, feels so much better to get some, uh, some dry clothes on. here it's right there spinning rod looks like <clears throat> well broken 
So this is a fishing rod that somebody threw it into the water. We got a long way to go. And as far as I know, I am, I'm not even halfway yet. So, uh, better get hoofing it. Yeah. So anyway, I was gonna go to North Wilkesboro to see songs from the road band, but now I'm in Long John's. That's all I have. These were my emergency dry clothes. So now I don't have any pants. No pants. That might be a problem. Oh well, let's get this packed up and situated and get moving. Hanging over there in the slack current. Right there. Oh, man. That right there should be fish. That should be a bag on fish. And now... There we go. Big one, but a hungry one. See that right there? See that slack current? And those bubbles aren't moving. Watch the bubbles. When you see bubbles like that that aren't moving, that's where they'll sit. And that's a lot of the reason they sit on the sides is because the current right against the bank, it's it's getting resistance as it runs along that bank, so it's not moving idea you know and it's just it's an opportunistic place to 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 you know pick up food stuff is washing in things are crawling in hopping in things are falling out of trees bugs frogs oh that was terrible Yeah, square bills. Like three, four feet? Yeah, this one goes up to three, and this one probably goes up to about six. But I feel like right now is probably the best time to fish because everybody ain't floating and they ain't seeing 18 million different lures. The water is just now getting to where it's getting warm enough. They're getting active. I haven't. I didn't catch a bunch today, but I caught some big ones. Um, That's what it's all about. Man. Yeah. Look, man. I yeah. The best spot I've ever had is, is, is once where that point sticks out right there. There's a bunch of rocks in the middle. Uh -huh. It's deep behind one of them rocks uh -huh. over there. Oh, cool. Okay, I'm going to show you. this. The KVD 1.5 square bill. I don't know about the other 1.5s, but... This little square bill, it's a shallow diving. The same thing with the regular square bill. They, the, it's the most fouling bait I've ever used in my life. Now, I understand the 1.5s have, and I just pulled this out of the water. The 1.5s have bigger hooks, and I understand why they do it, and I understand why people like it, but 
I want you to take a look at what it's doing right here. It hooks itself constantly. Look at that. Anyway, you saw it. I just pulled it in like that. So I, I came out here with the intention of fishing square bills and, um, and Ned rigs, but the square bill seems to be what's producing the bigger fish. And um, so I just stuck with that today. Um, I did fish the Ned rig a little bit. Nothing really, I didn't really do anything with it. You gotta get it next to that wall. You gotta get it under, up underneath that ledge. Watch me catch a big one out there, 10 feet out from it. I mean, that right there should be fish all day. Come on. Put that right on the wall, man. I can't believe I got nothing there. What in the hell? Man, I'm running out of I'm running out of time here. Let's go home. Let's go home. Let's go home. Going home, going home, going home. Got a cruise. Let's get cruising speed. seat is nowhere near as comfortable as the original Jackson seat that came with this kayak. It's not even close. Should start to see the bridge around this bend. Oh yeah, baby. No, you but I'm just kind of chilling right now. I'm just floating. Floating, letting the river take me. Um, but I think the wind is finally kind of dying down. Then I'm gonna hit this bridge down here, and then it's just right there. Easy fist this right here, but both my baits are stuck in my webbing up front. I don't think Good day though. It was a good day. Yeah.